Tonight we shine our spotlight on a woman who has spent years making a difference for other women across the state battling breast cancer. The organization she founded and built comes into their lives at their most vulnerable time. Since October is designated as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we celebrate Nancy Shepard as our latest Jefferson Award recipient. RTV6's Mark Mullins shares her story. Even that day when I, when I felt it, I thought, mm, this is this is not good. This is not good. I did. I did. Uh, I didn't want to really admit it out loud, but I knew it. I did. Donna Hardy made a prediction in 2015 and told her doctors. No matter what we do from A to Z, from the start zone to the end zone, I said, I will walk out of here cancer free. And I knew that. I did. She admits breast cancer is tough to fight and the road is tough to travel. And every now and then I would get up and I would kick a piece of front. I'm like, how did this happen to me? A part time caregiver herself for elderly patients, a wife and a mother who raised two daughters. And I'm accustomed to taking care of other people. That's I'm a caregiver to everybody. I didn't like the idea of me not taking care of people. They had to take care of me at that time. That was probably my biggest challenge right there. Donna gave in to accepting help. Even when she didn't know she needed it, she called a place called IWIN. IWIN officially stands for Indiana Women in Need. She came back and she said, we can help you. And that, at its core, is the mission behind an organization founded by Nancy Shepard more than 17 years ago. That's how the idea started was how do we help people get through treatment. Nancy, a registered nurse by trade whose life changed nearly two decades ago. A good friend of mine was diagnosed while we were co-workers at a local hospital. I saw what happened to her while she was trying to work full time and be a full time mom, you know, a mom. Watching her friend struggle with some of the most basic aspects of life awakened something in Nancy. I started to take a look at what is there out there for people who don't have support? The more she bounced her idea around, the more volunteers and survivors wanted to build on her notion. For two years, she organized fundraisers, raising money to deliver services, and filed paperwork to become an official nonprofit. Our mission is to really essentially try to take away some of those physical, financial, and emotional issues that you're going through that keep you from staying in the game going to treatment. You know, you just would rather give up. It's just too much. We help you take care of your kids. We mow your lawns. We put food on the table. We pay for your gas to and from because you're traveling 60 miles one way. Whatever that is for you, we want to be able to come in and and help alleviate that. For Donna, she had become one of the more than 600 people I win helps each year, all thanks to Nancy's calling to help. For some people, when they reach out for help, it may help for an hour, for a day, for a week. That particular grant helped me for the next four months. The IWIN grant helped Donna buy food and medications and kept her household afloat when she had to step away from her part-time job. I can tell you, Miss Nancy is full of love. She's full of compassion. She loves the people. She has a heart for seeing sick people get well and do better. Because of your vision and your commitment to the community and helping those in need, being an unsung hero, we present yeah. to you the Jefferson Award. No, oh, thank you. A token of thanks for a woman who started a legacy so that continues to prop thank up you. women today. Mark Mullins, RTV6. Donna is now cancer free and is using her talents as a playwright to raise funds for the organization. Nancy Shepard no longer runs I Win, but she remains heavily involved with the organization she started.